but just kind of giving some uh, an overview of some of the things in the on on the channel and some things that I find people doing as far as just getting their guitar in tune when I ask them to tune and I watch. Um, a lot of times they'll, uh, now I'm going to put it in standard tuning, so this will be a good opportunity. Uh, I'm going to bring this up a whole step. I'm basically tuning it to my fifth string. And notice I'm using harmonics. Now, I can play from the fifth fret off my sixth string to my um, fifth string open, fifth fret of my fifth string to my fourth string open, fifth fret of my fourth string to my third string open, fourth fret of my third string to my B string or my second string open, and then back up to my fifth fret on my second string to my E string open. Now, that's kind of a coarse way to tune. Uh, these would be harmonics. Watch my, watch my right hand. I'm using my thumb here. I don't, I don't have to be in a hurry. If I, I hit that note and remove my finger. So just practice doing that first before you try to, you know, put the notes together in tune. Just, I'm, I'm just touching the top of the string. Or I'm touching the string right above the fret, not on top of the, I'm not pushing down, but I'm, you know, right over the fret, just touching the string. And with my thumb, and then with my third finger, uh, let me get on this angle here. With my third finger, I'm on my seventh fret of the next string. Fifth fret, seventh fret. As I get to the the smaller strings or the thinner strings, I have to to pick with more intention. I'll switch to this angle. But a lot of times when students are uh, tuning, they'll get in a rush and like they'll they'll mute what they're the string that they're trying to tune to so just take your time get control over what you're doing do it intentionally okay uh, but always tune your guitar before you start and then check it with the tuner uh, practice tuning with your ear tuning with you know the course adjustment and with harmonics, use your tuner, knock it out a little bit. Practice that because, you know, when you when you go to play with people, uh, you know, we have electric tuners now. So it's, you know, when I was first starting to play, you know, you had to have some big expensive guitar, you know, uh, repair shop to have a strobe tuner. You know, there were hundreds of dollars. That's just not the case anymore. So use your tuner but also use your ear use your tuner to make sure that your ears in check okay um now one thing that i do want to point out is that the the b string the second string there's not a harmonic like you know you don't just keep doing the same thing all the way down but on your seventh fret of your sixth string that's a b note and that harmonic matches your b string open and this string here, it's almost like if it's perfectly in tune, it'll sound a little sharp when you play a root six or an E form chord. Um, I'm sorry, sorry, it'll sound a little flat if you play an E form chord. And then it'll sound a little sharp 
if you play your uh, A form, your root five bar chord. So you've kind of got to get that depending on how well your guitar is set up. I have an old uh, 65 Strat, and uh, sometimes I call it a 63, 65. The serial number is a 65, but the neck's a 65, the body's a 63. So if you hear me saying one thing and the other, I, 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 I tend to uh, waffle on what I call it, but it's officially uh, 65. That is a really, it's set up beautifully and it plays like butter. But every guitar has some, some quirks to it. The, whether the radius of the neck is rounded, I have really, I have jumbo frets. So, um, and I have, and I have a heavy right hand, but not a heavy left hand. So I have to tune it, fine tune it to the way that I play it. Okay. So, um, uh, really work with tuning your guitar. All right. And, uh, so that's one thing you should always do when you start out. 